One, two, three. One, two, three. With every step, leap, and lift, the Power APAC dance department gives their all on the dance floor. It's like my only way I express myself because I don't know how to verbally express myself, so I use dance to express myself. Out of about 100 dancers, seven of them are young men who overcome the stigma they say male dancers often face. Some classmates think it's for girls only, but boys do dance too. Arms up. Some dancers say the criticism is one of the major challenges they face, but they always remain positive. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, it helps with sports. It helps with flexibility and stuff like that. So, I mean, um, it's great. Although they make it look easy, the dance routines are challenging and require hard work and dedication. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You can always hear your dance teacher in the back of your head saying, straighten your back, straighten your knees and keep on pushing. Four, take it to the T, two, three, good. The students say dancing helps them get through their advanced placement classes. Some have even received scholarships to dance camps. Due to going to IBC and working my tail off while I was there, I was able to get a scholarship to go to Cincinnati for six weeks, and it was a wonderful experience. Their instructors are proud of them and love that they continue to do what makes them happy. Sometimes it's really misunderstood um, that there is a huge place and a huge need um, for men in dance. And I think every day they inspire younger students. Um, I see um, when we do performances for the school, this the eyes light up, um, of especially the younger boys. At the end of the day, this is more than just a dance group. They are family. Between the boys, we're basically just like brothers. I mean, even with the girls, they're like just older and younger sisters. And I love them all. One, two, three. The students look forward to being professional dancers in the future. In Jackson, Shalika Powell, 16 WAPT News.